People always want to know how I do the green screen effect. That is what you can see on the screen now. Me talking to you, but there's a dynamic background behind me. And interestingly enough, we can even change that background. We can use video, we can use pictures, and we can really play around and have different effects in the background, including, for example, a studio that you often see on the television. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. It's very simple. You can do it using a webcam. You just need some good lighting, and that's all you really need, plus, of course, a green screen. The technique particularly is easy in Camtasia 2023 because 2023 also provides you with some dynamic backgrounds, and we're going to include that as part of the video. Now, if you see this video before 20th of June 2023, look in the description below and there is a chance to sign up to a free webinar sponsored by TechSmith where I'll be showing you this technique and lots of other techniques that we can use using Camtasia. Really hope you like this video. As always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started how I do this green screen effect using Camtasia. So very quickly, what am I gonna cover? I'm gonna show you how it's done technically so you can see how I actually remove the background, how I change the background so I add different backgrounds in as you saw at the beginning of this video, a couple of settings that you need to know about. I'm then gonna show you very importantly how, to, how my setup actually looks. So you'll see my green screen, my lighting, where my computer is, everything. I film that for you. And then finally, I will show you how you add the text. There is a menu system as well so you can jump to any part of the video let's get started so let's look at technically what I've done and just to show you this I'm just going to jump over here and I'm going to grab here what you can see is a recording that I've created where as you can see there's a in the background there's a green screen so I'm going to just drop that onto the timeline now the first tip I give you is to put those to the video and the audio because obviously when you record the video you're also recording the audio at the same time and of course I'll show you in a minute how I did the green screen and how I lit it etc and exactly the setup I've got but what you want to do is put that on really to channels two and three because what you need to do is now add a background now the wonderful thing about Camtasia 2023 is that it offers loads and loads of free backgrounds and not only that but they're very versatile you can play around with them change the settings they're called dynamic backgrounds and we'll just grab one of these dynamic backgrounds I've been using them quite a lot they're a lot of fun and we can then have a look afterwards at some of the settings that we can actually do with the dynamic backgrounds what we'll do is we'll do this one here position gradient and I'm going to drag that to the bottom as you can see that's going to be the background and I'm going to drag it out so that it is full length now later I'll show you how you can even change the colors of this background. You can really do a lot of things with it. But you'll notice, of course, at the moment, well, that I'm on the screen and that we've got this kind of green screen behind me. And obviously what we need to do is to delete that green screen so that really I'm sitting on the video and the background is just this simple background that we've placed in uh, on, on the channel one. So what we need to do, and there's a couple of things, first of all. First of all, I would crop this. So I would click and just crop this down because obviously we don't need the only thing that we're interested in is actually me speaking on the screen. So we might as well crop that down to the minimum and then coming back again to the kind of normal setting. We want to come down and the one that we want to choose is visual effects here on the left hand side. Click on visual effects. This is very clever the way it works in Camtasia. I'm just going to scroll down to what we're looking for. And it's going to be, if I can find it, this one here, remove color. Now we drop that onto the video because we want to remove a color. But now Camtasia is saying to me, well, what color do you want to remove? And I'm going to click here and I'm choosing the color picker. And I'm going to say the color I want you to remove is this color. And you'll see now that it deletes everything that's green on the screen. And suddenly 
I have now, I'm sitting on the screen with this background. Now there's a few more things to understand, but let me just quickly play this video even at this point and let's see if it's working. So we're going to look at these dynamic backgrounds that have been introduced into Camtasia 2023. But if you're interested in what else Camtasia can do, I have made a video that covers a lot of the best features in Camtasia 2023. And I'll put that on the screen now in case you want to watch it. Now, actually thinking about it, just before I play this video, I'm actually going to change this background and use a bit more of a lively one. So I'll come back again up to my library here and I'm going to grab this sunburst because we can have a bit of fun with sunburst. So I'm going to drag sunburst onto the screen, just pull it out and let's just play the video for a few seconds before I show you a couple of effects. Would you really like to know exactly how Word will works? This is a okay, so you get the idea now. Of course, I could put some text on another layer and we'll look at that in a minute and I could have some things coming up here. But I'm gonna show you now a couple of tricks that we can do with the background, especially when we're working with Camtasia 2023 that provides all these kind of dynamic backgrounds for us. So we can really have some fun with these backgrounds and let me just show you a little trick here. I'm gonna move the playhead to about here and just clicking on that background, that channel track one, I'm gonna cut it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the color for this first, now we've got almost like two different videos. So I'm gonna reset this first one. I'll just choose another color and just quickly do this. We'll choose a kind of, that'll do, kind of purpley color. I'm gonna move the playhead on now to about here. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Click on that first track and then I'm just gonna cut it and again, making sure now that I've got this part of the video selected, we'll choose another color. In fact, what we'll do is to make this more fun, we'll actually change a couple of colors. So let me, sorry, just go back to the properties there. I'm gonna change uh, a couple of the colors here just to show you how this can work. And see what happens now is that as we play the video, you'll see that it changes color because I've simply cut the video and then reset the colors. And this is one of the lovely things about working with these kind of dynamic backgrounds. It's going to include all the latest updates, including the audio feature that's now available. What I'm going to do in this video. Okay. And of course, again, it would do another change uh, using to templates like change now just to keep in mind as well you could just delete that final one for example and say right at that point i want a different background and just work with a completely different background so i brought this one onto the uh, onto the video okay so we can you know play around with this whole idea of having changing backgrounds all the time you often see in my videos that i'm using backgrounds with an earth or with a background of a city and things like that but that is the basics of how we work but i just want to point out now a few more details about when you delete a color for example when you delete green if you want to download and try out Camtasia, there is a link in the description where you can do that, as well as a couple of links to some discounts. And don't forget also, that's where the link is to the webinar if you want to come along, uh, if you see this video before the 20th of June, 2023. So what you really want to do, and the best thing for, do, for me to do now is to turn off the remove color, so I can come up here and actually get rid of it what you're trying to do is make sure that the screen is lit in such a way or that you're lit in such a way that the green color behind you is fairly even that's the secret that's what we're trying to do so that when we say remove green Camtasia can easily recognize all the green color if there's lots of shades and shadows it's not so easy so your job is to light the green screen as well as you possibly can and then it's very easy to remove a color you come down to visual effects drop on remove color tell Camtasia I want to remove that color now a way of seeing how well you're doing is to just turn off for a minute if we just turn off the background we can kind of see that there's let's make this even a little bit bigger if I pull this down, we can see, we can kind of see that there's no little pieces. It seems to be very, very clear. 
Now, interestingly, I've used my telephone, my smartphone to do this, just a sta standard, in my case, Samsung, nothing special. It's better than using a webcam because your smartphone generally has a much better camera in it. So I filmed myself using the webcam with the green screen, brought it into Camtasia, and then deleted my or deleted the green background now you do have a little bit of control now what do i mean by that well if you come over here you'll notice that you've got a button called tolerance and you can for example if i reduce the tolerance right down you might just see there's a few slight problems here because there's you know because of the shades in the green it wasn't completely equal so you can move the tolerance up and around 10% won't affect too much the quality now the other thing to remember of course is don't wear anything green because if you're wearing something green then that color will also be cut out so these settings can help in terms of making the quality better So here you can see my setup. So you can see right behind me is the green screen. They're very, very cheap to buy. In front of me, obviously, is my computer with my microphone. And now I've got two big lights. Now those lights predominantly are lighting up the green screen. The idea is that by having those lights fairly near to me, uh, the green screen is going to be nicely and evenly lit and that is the most important thing you want to make sure that green screen is nicely and evenly lit now notice also if we come closer to my computer I haven't got the lights on but you'll notice that I have two other smaller lights at the side now why do I do that well those lights are really to light me up to make sure that I'm nice and clear remember I'm using my webcam so the you know cameras need light so if you're well lit and your green screens well lit then you're going to do a good job really good job now there is one little trick and i've seen it done in many studios and that is you can actually have a light behind your chair just lighting up the green screen and that can often help to even out the color so you might have a light on the floor just simply pointing up towards the green screen i've seen it done in studios and that really helps So the final thing to show you is how do, do I add the text? Well, that's very easy. I will simply come down to annotations. I'll choose a text type. I can change the colors, the backgrounds and all sorts. And then make sure you drag it to go right across the area where you want it. So imagine, for example, we've got teacher training videos at the top of the screen. Well, what we would do then is add it here. Of course, we can then choose a different color if we wanted the text to be a slightly different color let's imagine that i want to make it a darker color and i'm probably going to want to make it a little bit bigger as well as you can see now and then of course i would just write in the correct words you can see it there and of course i've, I've got lots of choices in terms of different fonts that i might want to use and i'm also doing the same uh, on the side here i have some text coming on and off the screen on the side uh, when i'm introducing the video at the beginning okay really hope you found that video useful please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos you'll also see on teacher training videos a special section on camtasia with loads of videos as well as a special offer if you want to buy camtasia you get a great discount on it if you want to follow me, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. You'll get updated on all the latest videos, the free webinars, the online courses, the blog posts that I write. And also, really importantly, if you do want to contact me about doing some training with your organization or with you as an individual, you can contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about using Camtasia. And thank you very much.